we're on the front line, but we're on the phone and not seeing anybody. And you know they're stressed. You know, they, it's cold, they have no hot water, they have no heat, and they feel like nobody is hearing me. We really do listen. You can't listen long because the calls are coming in. You can only give them a little bit of your time, but it can still be quality. I look at it like this. You have to put something in their hand. If you put something in somebody's hand, um, that'll take them a little further. I'm the director of the Emergency Service Bureau for the Emergency Operations Division. We're the front line. Winter from October 1 until May 31st, we're in heat season. So the most common and most important thing for us as a whole in the agency is heat and hot water complaints. First thing I do is check with the supervisor on the floor of the 5510 line to find out how many calls have come in. Then we call those people back so that we can say, we got your message, we understand the situation, and your violation number is in our shop, and this is what will happen next. So our objective is to contact the owner, let him know the situation, what is wrong, uh, what the complaint entails, and is he willing to comply and make the correction? Has he already made the correction? If he says that he will not comply or he is unable to be contacted, we will then forward that violation to the next uh, stop in the link, which would be the emergency repair program site intake. Through the emergency repair program, they're gonna look for vendors. They'll write a scope, say this is the scope of work, how much can you do this job for? The vendors will go out, look at the job. From there, the lowest bidder will get the job. I oversee my portion of it, which is the permit portion, the front line and giving information, making sure the affidavits come in and go to the law department. Collectively, we make sure that the job is done. It's a lot of detail, but you don't mind when you know that the finished product is going to be heat and hot water a safe surrounding for the person when you know that you have a healthy, safe, warm home. So try to get that person at least those two things before you go home. That'll make you stay a, an extra half hour.